right guys we're down here at the track welcome to another vlog been a crazy morning Scarlett didn't go to school today because she's got something wrong with her eye so she she didn't go to school she's down here with us coffee guy did a decent job cleaning up this quarter panel for me so the side of the car is looking a bit more a bit more like a car definitely shouldn't quit making coffees as a day job though <laughs> Scarlett what are you doing so she's got some little explorer kit that she's got there but Z starting to look like a car again wifey is going to be fitting her cube shifter um, I'm doing a bit of a clean up down here then I'm going to get onto the Z and got to get all that done in like two hours so got heaps to do wifey get your car done Leave it running, we'll disconnect coils and see why it's missing. So all of Tiana's cars are having some sort of issues at the moment. Must be a female thing. Okay, so I'm hoping, hoping it's a dodgy coil pack. I do have other coil packs here, so I'm gonna get Tiana to rip this coil pack out. And I have other coil packs here. We'll chuck one in and see how it goes. Okay, spare. Spare coil packs for this car. She just needs to find a 10 mil, which isn't an easy thing down here at the moment. I used to have so many, now I don't have many at all. Um, I'm getting to putting the 350Z back together, taping things up and doing some cutting on that while she gets started on first putting a coil pack in, hopefully getting it running on six cylinders and then getting onto the short shifter. Oh, you love a turbo. Alright, so speaking with my expert on cube shifters right here, Kirby. We're not going to be able to do the cube shift today. We've run out of time finding this misfire. So unfortunately, we're not going to be able to fit that today. We'll have to do it early or this weekend or early next week to make sure she's ready to go for Tuesday to test it. But the misfire is gone. Um, and I don't know if she's going to throw some laps tonight. Hopefully she does. But we'll get this cube shifter in... Um, next week, or like I said, this weekend or this week, and uh, get her going with some quick shifts. But um, sorry to the guys at Cube, I haven't been able to get it in yet. We're just running out of time. We weren't expecting to have a daughter home today and be taking her to the doctors and having to wait an hour for a prescription. Man, the world has gone crazy. But 350Z is looking great. So I've gone with a chopped rear bar. Um, got the quarter panels looking. Good again. Definitely not great, but they're definitely looking decent. And this side looking pretty good. I think we'll jack it up in a minute and try and suss why that wheel's leaning across quite a bit. Um, and then I think that's about all I need to do. I might check the oil on this car and a few other little bits, bits and pieces, but otherwise it is ready to rip. So that's good. Not gonna be able to fit your short shifter. Bye. Kermie said we have to drop the box to get the side springs and stuff in. Not not out of the car, but like drop it down and stuff, and we just don't have time to do it today. Yeah. That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. The miss is fixed. Well, hopefully. We'll try. <laughs> are you having room. chocolate? No, it's scarlet's antibiotics. Oh, scarlet's antibiotics. Alright, cool. Well, we're gonna keep going here and a few more holes to drill and get this thing done, but everything's fun. It's looking good. Oh, you're trying to get a cooler pipe because they don't have it. You've been driving with one that's got a hole in it for quite some time, so maybe you just retape it up better than with that other tape I've got. Okay. Yeah. All right, we'll just have to retape it up and try and find something in the meantime. Boy, they did All right, expert, expert tape up job there. So 
the pipe itself isn't split it's just it's well it is split but it's not all the way through the reason we taped it in the first place is so it didn't expand and essentially pop um, so I've just re-taped it up with good tape better tape and uh, wifey it doesn't go there that's almost in the perfect spot. I'm just <laughs> mad. So yeah, we're gonna get it put back in. What are you mad about? People exploding drinks in my freezer and stealing my tools. So my back wheel, I've tried to adjust every which way I can. I can't get that camber out, which is like, definitely not the end of the world, but it's still moderately annoying. I just literally have to wait for all my GK Tech stuff to get here and I'm just being impatient. Hopefully it comes sooner rather than later and I can get the new arms in the back and get it all sorted out. But I'm pretty happy overall with the 350Z and that's a good thing. I'm super, super, super happy with the track. We've already got crowd here, like it's gonna be a good night for sure. I'm gonna have a drive once it gets dark, but I'm gonna get some footage for you guys of wifey thrashing. Um, I don't have the GoPros or anything down here. Down here wearing my uh, safety boots. Don't have time to get home before the event starts. So I'll just, um, yeah, I'll just film wifey, get some footage, show you guys what she's throwing down. Hopefully she can get some of the backies into the uh, bottom corner. What do you reckon? That's what I'm gonna practice. The wifey's gonna practice some backies into the back corner and I will watch and support and film for you guys. You can see how wifey gets down. Well, unfortunately guys, I was really, really, really looking forward to our Cars in the Clouds event, but I've just been messaged by the management at the venue and unfortunately we're gonna have to can it. Um, I'm super sucky, but we're gonna try and reschedule. Obviously once all this stuff's blown over, we'll be able to get sort of life back to normal. But unfortunately at this stage, there will be no Cars in the Clouds this Saturday. So I'm sorry guys. Sorry to spoil everyone's plans. It is what it is. I got more time to finish the 8.6, but oh, I'm devastated, guys. I really, really wanted Cars in the Clouds to happen. What are you on? Someone has 18. I think someone has 26. So what are you doing to drop it down to 18 all around, or? Mm, what are these ones, the uni grips? Yeah. All right, you good? Yeah. If you're not feeling it, don't drive. It's just hot. <laughs> it's just hot. It's not even that hot. It's pretty hot. Once you drive it around, you'll be fine. My wife has a thing with being like really lazy sometimes, so. Sometimes. All sometimes, the sometimes, all the time, sometimes. Bonnet pins are in, all your oil was good, you got water in there. Uh-huh. Everything's ready to go. Uh -huh. All right, do a skid. I'll try. See if I can get her to do donuts around me. Do donuts around me. Are these brand, are they brand new? Yeah. They're really slippery. You'll be Well, that was a good start. She went out immediately debeated and she hadn't pumped her left front tire up yet. I didn't film it, but she actually flicked super hard into that bottom corner and did it well. But yeah, obviously that tire went flat straight away. So she'll get that all sorted out and then get back out here. I don't know where she's parking. She needs to just go pump her tire up. Women. soon. Let's see. 
six. She's getting close to Becky's. at the top she took like a different run up which was weird and entered way too late it was sketchy buy any new tires at the moment so I've just got a couple I've got like two pairs of second handies that I'll have a go on tonight and uh, just have some fun with it I guess but yeah no new tires so I'm, I like driving on new tires but can't afford no new tires so second handies it is all right boys what I got in my car what are these idiots doing they'll be running into each other I think definitely want to go have a hard thrash and bash with um with Chop and Sean and stuff. Get out there, see how she feels. I want to be part of this! <laughs> huh? Why, what happened? Oh.
been jamming me out to door him for a while. So when he comes around, I'm going to jump straight on him and start painting up his uh, Commodore. <laughs> tapping and running a mark. The car is still straight. To be fair, I haven't gone and looked at the front bumper yet, but I'm pretty sure it's fine. However, one thing that did happen, so I'm just trying to get my light, is under heavy braking, I've bent, where is it? Another tie rod. Another tie rod bent. So I hit a big bump, and at the same time, slammed the brakes on, and I think it's just, yeah, been a bit too much for the tie rod. I don't know if it's because I've just stepped up to the 18 inch wheels that's bending the tie rods. It is a possibility. So I'm going to look into it a little bit more and see if there's, if my wheel might, might even be touching the tie rod. I don't think so, but I, I obviously need to look into it and find out what's going on there. Cause I haven't bent tie rods in forever. And then all of a sudden I bent like three tie rods in a matter of like a couple of weeks. So it's definitely something I need to look into. All right, Russ, come down here. Russ has been building the loom for the Beams 86. Um, like I said, he is a busy man. Where are we at? So, about 95% done. So, I could have it running on the weekend. I just need to figure out all power situation. Yeah, well now, unfortunately, the meat's being cancelled. So, we've got all, nothing but time now. Now, we're rewiring the car. Oh, I haven't shown you. So I've got a little switch panel thing that we want to look into wiring into this, which I have to show Russell. Yeah, we need to figure out whether it's... Go ahead for everything to be done. 
Yeah, but the engine loom's different to the... That, that loom's different to the other loom, right? It is, but to make everything nice, I need to do it all at once. I do want it nice, so hopefully we can... Yeah. I need you to see the button thing that I bought. Yeah. Uh, play. Yeah. Button thing, play, make wiring nice, finish, and then give the 86 to someone to paint and make it look really nice. Then it'll be S13 time, but first we need to, like, absolutely get this car done. I really want the 86 done, so... It's getting closer guys, it's getting closer. What a drift car mate, what a drift car. <laughs> Look at the mullet on him as well. <laughs> you were out here the other day shredding in this, but you've been, you done it in the dry yet with this? Not really. Not, not on the track? Oh, not on the track, no. Yeah. All right, sick, Lex watch, it's gonna be fun. I don't want to go anywhere near it, but I'm more than happy to watch it. shit we get here and anything really as long as it doesn't go over the wall that's all we've made him put smaller wheels on the back so it doesn't go over the wall Not ideal, not exactly what I wanted. Um, I wasn't going to drive for the rest of the night because I bent that tie rod and then I went out to chase that four wheel drive to just get some footage behind him and he popped his tire and I was like well I'll just chuck a few laps and next minute I split a handbrake line so I'll have to add to my GK Tech order. Huh? What? Need new cradle. Why? Crack through here to oh. push this point. So that'll be all your camber issues. Is that where my camber issues are coming from? Yep. Yeah. It's bent. Bent that way. Need to put a new cradle in it. Again. Ah, lucky I have a new cradle. Okay, so we found out why my car has bad camber issues. My cradle is cracked. Whereabouts? Oh yeah, that shouldn't be like that. Yeah. That there. <laughs> oh wait, let me guess. Chop knocked it and he cleaned it up. So the truck tire came from down there all the way down there. You 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 knocked the truck tire off and JJ cleaned it up. That's way worse than what I did to, to the <laughs> Perfect! <laughs> I, I, I didn't see it, I completely missed it, I just heard the commotion. I've been hitting there, I've been hitting the jump line. Yeah. And I felt the back just touched something. I'm like, perfect. There's a tire. <laughs> That's sick. <laughs> All right. 350Z end of the night. Cosmetically no worse, but mechanically worse. Bent tie rod, squished, split handbrake line. Is that the best way to explain it? Crushed crushed because of bad fitment yeah my bad um i'll get onto the guys at gk tech and extend my order to include a new handbrake cable a bunch of my own mechanical dramas my own problems so shit happens anyway thank you so much for watching guys don't forget to like comment subscribe and we will see you guys in tomorrow's vlog we might be doing some rc drifting so that'll be fun so we'll see how we go